What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Troy Isley versus Dante Stubbs. What did we think of this one? What were our thoughts? What was going through our mind when we saw this fight? Dante Stubbs looked a little bigger in this fight than I saw of him before. So that was a little bit surprising. But Dante Stubbs is a tough man. He throws with bad intentions and he was doing that all night. And as I said before on the breakdown, right, he doesn't have the best skill set, but he is tough and he's never going to back down. And we saw that in this fight. Stubb had nothing to lose. Isley was the one who had everything to lose and all to gain. But I got to add, that Stubbs did look much better in this fight than he did in other fights. He looked more improved to me. Stubbs wanted to make this a shot-for-shot shot fight. That was his best bet of winning this fight was, was to catch Troy Isley with a lucky shot. But I thought Isley showed good discipline to not get tricked into fighting emotionally and stayed focused and chopped him down as he usually does in his fight. He's a smart, disciplined fighter, and I think he showed that a thousand percent in this fight. I was impressed by the composure in the ring and the maturity to stick to his game plan. Stubbs is tough as nails. The man's never been knocked out before in a boxing ring, right? I don't know about his MMA career, but he's never been knocked out in a boxing ring. But Troy Isley dominated this fight every single round. He was the busier fighter. He landed the cleaner shots. He landed the bigger shots. And you could slowly see Stubbs was starting to feel the effects. And I said to myself in this one, it's only a matter of time before he closes out the show. You can only take so much punishment, right? While you may be a mentally strong person, when you get hit and hit and hit and hit over and over and over again, your mind will say, get back up. But your body is saying, I don't want any more parts of this. And you could see that Stubbs was starting to not want any more parts of this fight. And I love that Isley did not rush anything. He just stayed chopping him down. He stayed chopping him down. And the shot that he did take Stubbs out, that was planned. You could see he was setting that up and he timed Stubbs correctly. He knew Stubbs at some point was going to go swinging for the stars like he had been all fight. And when he went to swing for the stars, Troy Isley said, nope, no stars, but here's a shot. Hold that. And this, as I said before, was a big litmus test. Can you knock out someone that hasn't been knocked out? May not have the best record, but he has a persona about him. Stubbs never gets knocked out. Can you pass this test? Troy Isley passed the test in impressive form. In my opinion, in his young career so far, this was his most impressive performance today. I don't know who he's going to fight next or what that may look like, what they may, what angle they may go, but whomever it is, he's ready for the next test. What were your thoughts on this fight? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you've been watching this time, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.